Good morning, students. And how are you today? Welcome to another Social Studies BJC Review class with Mistress Brown Evans. Today, we will be discussing the compass rules. But just before we proceed with our lesson, I want to invite you to get some very important materials for this class. You are going to need a writing book and needless to say, a writing book comes with a pen or a pencil. And I also invite you to get a hold of a ruler if you can. If you cannot, then don't worry about it, but you would especially need your writing book. So while you are getting those materials and returning to your workstation, I want to say a special shout out to our Family Island students, all of our BJC Junior High School students. How are you doing on our Family Islands? In particular, Arklands. How are the students in Arklands doing this morning? What about Crooked Island? How are you in Crooked Island? South Andros. Yes, a pleasant day to you. And all of our junior high school students in New Providence, you know I cannot forget about you. I cannot call every school by name at this point. But I want to say good morning to the great, the great Essie McPherson Junior High School. D.W. Davis, I have not forgotten you. How are you doing? L.W. Young. Anatol Rogers, C.H. Reeves. Good morning to everyone. And again, welcome to our social studies BJC review class. You should have your materials. And so we will begin with our lesson. I am going to play a song, a special song by Nigel Lewis. It is entitled, Moving to the Left. I want you to listen carefully because I am going to reference this song as our lesson continues. a fun song. I really did not want to stop it, but of course we have to continue. When you heard Nigel sing in that song, you heard him mention, everyone should move to the left. On the map, when you move to the left, what direction is left on the map? It is west. Yes. And he said, then move to the right. On the map, what direction is at the right? East, very good, very good. He then mentioned going down south and he said, we are all to move up north. Yes, 
In today's lesson, we will learn about the compass rose. And all of those directions I mentioned just now is a part of the cardinal point compass. And so let's take a closer look at our objectives. In today's lesson, we are going to explain what is a map. We are going to explain how to use a compass rose. And finally, we are going to construct a four point compass and eight point compass, as well as a 16 point compass. Are you ready to continue? You just know that a social studies lesson for me is never a, a social studies lesson without my vocabulary words. And so the vocabulary terms for today are compass rose and map. Again, you are looking at our vocabulary words and they are compass rows and map. What is a map? A map, if you recall from your previous lessons, is a drawing of the earth. In social studies, we sometimes say it is a flat way of representing the earth. Do you know what a book of maps is called? A book of maps is called an, an atlas. You are now viewing a picture of the compass rose. Let's talk for a minute about the compass rose. The compass rose is a tool that is used to show directions on a map. It actually shows the cardinal directions. And if you recall, the cardinal directions would be north, south, west, and east. Do you know another name for the compass rose? It is also known as wind rolls. I am just going to give you another minute in case you are writing down those points for review in your social studies book. I am just going to allow you that opportunity to record that information quickly. As you are recording it, I am going to go through it one more time. So a tool that is used to show directions on a map is simply called a compass rose. The compass rose shows the cardinal directions on a map. And again, the cardinal directions I'm referring to would be north, south, west, and east. Are you ready to continue on with our lesson? Let's go. I am showing you a picture of the compass rows with our four points, north, east, south, west, and it went back to north. Our cardinal point compass, also known as a four point compass. Once again, let's go over it. North is always at the top of the compass rows. So north, is at the top and then we have east at the right we have south at the bottom we have west at the left there is a, an acronym that students sometimes use to help remember the cardinal points because as you can see your direction should go in a clockwise direction that is um, from, from the top north towards the right and back on, at the top. And so the acronym that I want to tell you about that will help you remember your cardinal directions is 
Never eat soggy waffles. Never eat soggy waffles. Needless to say, the N is for North. What is the E for? East, that is correct. The S is for South. And the W is for West. You can come up with your own acronym to help you remember our four point directions. Whenever we are talking about directions, there are some key words that we must remember. Those key words are to, the word to. For example, what is the direction to Exuma? Another key word is from. What is the direction from Exuma? And the final word is of. What is the direction of Exuma from a particular point? So those are our three key words that are connected to us studying the compass and its purpose. Let's do an assignment quickly on the cardinal point compass. The instruction says, fill in the correct answers using a cardinal point compass. And I want to repeat the direction so that it is clear. Let's go over it again. Fill in the correct answers using a cardinal point compass. So now look at the projected image to the right. It is showing the school, a cafe, a shop, and a house. Can you tell me what direction the school is? Now, this is very, very simple. I know you are going to get this. The school is located where? Of course, it is at the north. What about the cafe? C-A-F-E. What direction is the cafe located? The cafe is at the east. The blank is west. What is the object that is located at the west? The answer is house. The blank is located at the south. What is your answer? You are correct if you said shop. Very good. And so we did a very simple exercise using the cardinal point compass. Let's continue on with our lesson. We referenced earlier on that there are three key words as it relates to us understanding direction. And I want to now focus on the word from. And my instruction is saying, what is the direction from the cafe to the house? Or we're still, we are still doing examples of, of questions that you might see in reference to a four-point compass. So let me go over that again. What is the, the, the direction from the cafe to the house? I always tell my children, this is not a complicated matter. You move exactly from where the examiner says to move from. So if I say move from, the cafe to the house, you are doing exactly that. You are moving from the cafe to the house. And, and the point where you arrive is the direction that you give. So the, what is the direction from the cafe 
to the house? And your answer is rest. Very good. Let's try another one. What is the direction from the shop to the school? What is the, the direction from the shop to the school? Your answer is north. Very good. Very, very good, boys and girls. Now let's go to our question number two. What is the direction of the cafe from the house? What is the direction of the cafe from the house? So where are we moving, moving from? We are moving from the house and we are going to the cafe. Once again, where you land is the direction point that you will give. So what is the direction? of the cafe from the house your answer is east very good very very good and our final example question is what is the direction of the shop from the school what is the direction of the shop from the school. So where are we moving from? We are moving from the school to the shop. And so your answer is, yes, you are correct, south. Very, very good. That is our four point compass, also known as the cardinal point compass. We are now going to discuss the eight point compass. And you are seeing an image of the eight point compass. The points between the four cardinal points are what we refer to as the intermediate or intercardinal directions. What are the intercardinal directions? They are northeast southeast, southwest, and northwest. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen this in the multiple choice question of the section of the BJC examination. What are our intermediate points? And so I want to repeat again for your understanding. The points between the four cardinal points are known as the intermediate directions. And these directions are, include northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. You are now looking at an example of our eighth point compass. My instruction is to fill in the correct answers. But before we do that, I always tell my students, whenever you are getting ready to draw an eighth point compass, it is easier for you to begin with the cardinal point compass. So you, you take your ruler and you draw a cross, which is, your cardinal point you and and you label it so you begin with the cardinal points you label north at the top east at the right south down below remember our acronym never eat soggy waffles and of course west at the left so in drawing the eight point compass, begin with your four point compass and label. Now it is easier to draw the lines between that would indicate the intermediate points. And so now I'm going to, we are going to label the eight point compass completely. 
So B would be what direction? Northeast. Very good. And what is the letter D? The letter D is referring to southeast. Very, very good. What about the letter F? F is referring to southwest. And what about the letter H? H is referring to northwest. Now I am going to give you a few minutes for you to draw that diagram of the eighth point compass. The eight point compass. And if you wish, you can circle the intermediate points. Again, the intermediate points are northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. So I am going to give you a minute or two to draw and label the eighth point compass at this time. You have just one more minute to complete your diagram. So as we prepare to move on to our next compass, I just want to remind you that thus far, we've spoken about the four point compass, which is also known as the cardinal point compass. And now you are still viewing the eighth point compass. And I have referenced the intermediate points of the eight point compass, which is northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. We're going to speak now about the 16 point compass. You are looking at a diagram of the 16 point compass. When you are preparing to build the 16 point compass, this can become very complicated if you do not begin at the foundation. So just as I have indicated with the eight point compass that you always begin by, by drawing your four point compass firstly and labeling it, you are going to do the same thing if you have a question on the 16 point compass, you know you want to get the answers correctly, so you're going to have to construct it on your examination paper so that you are certain of the, di the direction points. And so in building the 16 point compass, begin with the cardinal point compass. And so I am going to allow, allow you a minute right now, if you have your ruler, to draw that cross and ensure that it dissects at the center. So you draw a cross, a nice big one, so that you have space to put all of your direction points on. You are drawing your four point compass. Yes, if you have finished drawing it at this time, I want you to label it. The four point, I want you to label, again, what direction is at the top? North. North is at the top. And since we have our acronym, we will now go to East. Yes, never eat soggy, which is South, waffles, West. 
So we have now you, you, our four-point compass. You can see the directions have been indicated for the four-point compass. North, east, south, west. Now turn the four-point compass into the eight-point compass. So draw your lines at the center of those points. Now constructing an eight point compass. And what are the directions you are going to now put? Put, you are going to put northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. So you have actually drawn and labeled the eight point compass earlier on in our discussion. But I want you to do a fresh one. And again, you have to start by drawing and labeling the four point compass, then turning the four point compass into the eight point compass and labeling it as well. So you should almost be finished with labeling the last part of what we just did. And we are going to move to converting this eight point compass now into the 16 point compass. Are you ready? I'm gonna give you one more minute as you are drawing and labeling. Now, in constructing the 16 point compass, your cardinal directions are very, very important. We are simply combining the two direction points. We are, we are combining it, but it's important to know how you combine it. So you are always to begin with one of the cardinal points. For example, as you can see, the direction here is north and the direction here is northeast. We are going to combine these two directions, but how do we how do we do it? We do it by beginning with one of the cardinal points. North is a cardinal point. Northeast is not a cardinal point, and so we are going to combine north and northeast. And so right here we will put what north northeast n n e. Let's move right here where my cursor is, is indicating this right here, yes. And so we have two directions here as well. We have any, which stands for Northeast, and we have E, which stands for East. Remember what, what I said? Start with the cardinal point. And so the cardinal point between these two is actually E. And so you will write E, any. So you're combining, but you are beginning with a cardinal point, E, N, E. So E, N, E is east, northeast. Let's continue on right here to our next arrow right here. And we have two directions here. We have east and we have southeast. Beginning with one of the cardinal directions, so we will write E southeast. So we write the letter E and combine it with S E. And so it's E S E, which is east, southeast. Moving right along, the same thing goes for here. The two directions, southeast and south, and the arrow between. So we combined S is a cardinal point. So we start with S S E. S S E, which is south, southeast. Do you understand the pattern now? Right here, what do we write? S, S W, S, S W. So that's south, southwest. What about here? Right here, remember W is a cardinal point. So we begin with W, then add S W. So west southwest and right here between w and nw we are combining beginning with 
west, yes. And so right here, we are going to put west, northwest, west, northwest. And let's go right here, right here to the direction point right here. We are combining N and NW, north, northwest, north, northwest. Very good. And so now you have constructed the 16 point compass. And we call it the 16 point compass because there are actually 16 points. If you start from north going in a clockwise direction, you would have counted 16 point. So that is our 16 point compass. We're going to do an exercise. We're going to use the map of the Bahamas to complete an assignment on directions. So if you have an atlas, you can use, you can use an atlas in completing the assignment that I will project shortly. If not, I am going to show you the assignment, allow you to write down the assignment, and then I will return to the map of the Bahamas to allow you the opportunity to complete that assignment. So here we go. I'm going to invite you to write these um, questions so that when you are reviewing, you are clear on how to calculate directions using um, the compass rules. So write it down quickly for me. It's saying, what is the direction from my, I, I have that keyword highlighted in red. Very important. What is the direction from Nicholstown Andros to Marsh Harbor Abaco? Then what is the direction from Marsh Harbor Abaco to Nicholstown Andros? What is the direction from Arthurstown Cat Island to Colonel Hill Crooked Island? And finally, what is the direction from Colonel Hill Crooked Island to Arthur's Town Cat Island? I am going to give you a few minutes to write that, that down before returning to my map so that you can see um, the islands and get your answers correct. You have two more minutes remaining to write down that question and its parts. You should be finished now. So I am going to take you back to the map of the Bahamas and you are to use the map of the Bahamas to help you answer that question and its parts. Remember, wherever the examiner says to move from, you move from that point and where you land is the direction that you will give.
you have just three minutes to complete your answers. Are you ready to begin? Or do you need one more minute? Let's go through the answers now. What is the direction from Nicholson Andrews to Marsh Harbor Abaco? Your answer is Northeast. What is the direction from Marsh Harbor Abaco to Nichols Tongue Andros? The answer is Southwest. What is the direction from Arthur's Tongue Cat Island to Colonel Hill Crooked Island? Your answer is Southeast. What is the, the direction from Colonel Hill Crooked Island to Arthur's Town Cat Island? Your answer is Northwest. Did, every, did anyone get all one, two, three, four answers correct? Then do your dance. Yes, you can move to the left and you can move to the right. Yeah, yeah, you've done really, really good. Did you get three out of four? You have also done so good. If you did not get any of those questions right, then you do know that you have to study. It's okay, there's still time. There's still time for you to review what we have discussed at the end of this class or sometime today. Take some, some time and review, go through it to ensure that you understand everything that has been discussed. Now I have another set of questions. This time I'm focus, focusing on the word to. I'm focusing on the word to. Now you can jot this down quickly as we discuss them, but I'm not going to allow you to do this on your own at this point. But I, if, you, if you can, I want you to write it down and write down the answers as we go through them so that you can take your atlas at a later time and see for yourself how we have come up with the answer. So what is the direction to this time? It says not from this time, but what is the direction to Spring Point Auckland's from Arthur's Town Cat Island? The answer is Southeast. So you are quickly writing down these points. Let's go to the, to the second one. What is the direction to Georgetown Exoma from Nassau, New Providence? I want to emphasize one more time that you are to move from where the examiner says to move from. So the question says, what is the direction to Georgetown Exuma from Nassau New Providence? So you are moving from Nassau New Providence and you are going to Georgetown Exuma. And that answer then is Southeast. Let's look at the final one. What is the direction to Arthur's Town, Cat Island from Clarence Town, Long Island. So where are we moving from? We are moving from Clarence Town, Long Island, and we are going to 
Arthur's Tongue Cat Island. And again, you give the direction of the point where you landed. So we're going from Clarence Tongue, Long Island, to Arthur's Tongue Cat Island. And your answer is Northwest. I'm gonna give you just another minute to quickly write this down and to write in the answers. Again, I say study, study, study. And if there's no confusion when it comes to direction point, just keep in mind you are to always move from where the examiner says to move from. It doesn't matter how that statement is worded, go from exactly where it says to move from and where you land is the direction that you would get. It is time now to play our social studies Jeopardy as we conclude today's lesson on the compass rows. We've all we focus especially on the four point compass, the eight point compass, as well as the 16 point compass. So let's just see how much you remember from that lesson. Are you ready? Let's go. The four point compass, another name for the four point compass is cardinal or globe? What is your answer? <laughs> if you said cardinal, you are correct. The points between the four point compass is known as cardinal or intermediate points. points you are absolutely correct what is the direction at the top of the map is it north or is it west you are on the roll today you have gotten three out of three so far we are on our fourth question what is another name for the compass rose is it intermediate or is it wind rose wind rose is the answer a flat drawing of the earth is called a globe or is it called a map Map is correct. Our final question. What is the direction opposite south? The direction opposite south. If you said north, you are correct. And so I am giving you my little drum roll. Yes, you are correct. The answer is north. Did you get six out of six? Again, if you got six out of six, you can do your dance, moving to the left, moving to the left. If you got five out of six, you can still do a dance because you have done well. If you have not gotten at least four of those questions right, then you do know that you have to do some more studying. It's okay you have a little bit more time to study. So once again, this is Mrs. Brown Evans doing a social studies BJC review on the Compass Rose. I am looking forward to seeing you at our next lesson this week. But just before I go, I want to remind you that the Compass Rose is an instrument that is used to show direction on the map. You know the direction north is always at the top. And we would have gone through our acronym to help us remember the directions in order in a clockwise direction of the cardinal point. And that, that is never 
eat, which is east, soggy, which is s, waffles, which is w. And on my final point is the word map. A map is a drawing of the earth. If you recall, these were the two terms that we had in our social studies vocabulary section of this lesson. And so when I, when I speak with you next class, I know that you are going to remember our social studies vocabulary terms and you will also know the meaning of those terms. It has been fun being your teacher for today. I look forward to seeing you at our next class.